Welcome back, everyone, to an important episode of the DWA. We have two more shows left, including this one here, until Money in the Dank. And oh my, ladies and gentlemen, can you believe this is his first appearance for the DeVos Wrestling Academy here in season three? Eli Porter is finally here. Now, for those of you who don't know Eli Porter, he's famous from the Iron Mike. 2005 rap battle contest. I forget where exactly that took place. But my god, was it fucked up. And they gave it to Envy. It was literally Eli Porter versus some, some guy. Like, nobody even remembers what that guy said. But for some reason, they gave the win to that guy. But we all remember Eli Porter. <laughs> it's so obvious Eli Porter should have won that. But anyways, Eli Porter is here to qualify for Money in the Dank. We've got the first of many matches tonight here. Eli Porter. What a win for Eli Porter this would be. Way to make a debut, eh? Now, who's he going to be facing? Oh, my goodness, guys. It's Mark Sinclair. From the hit one-shot multifacial on YouTube. It's Vin Diesel, his alter ego, Mark Sinclair. I don't know what his real name is. Is it Vin Diesel or Mark Sinclair? I think it's Mark Sinclair. Anyways, this is Mark Sinclair from an old one-shot called Multifacial. It's about a guy who's in Brooklyn, New York, and he's trying to get some uh, auditioning gig. He does a monologue about being a, a guy who beats up a gay guy in a dinner out in a dinner hall, and then he beats up his girlfriend in the same monologue. And then later on, he's cutting another monologue, and he's saying the N-word. That's crazy. Anyways, Mark Sinclair is here. And he's going to be going on one-on-one -on -one with Eli Porter. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go, everyone. Eli, from the class of 2005. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, and Mark Sinclair is immediately just working away on Mr. Porter. Now, both of these folks are newcomers to the ring so we're going to be having some newcomers in the DWA money in the dank of course we've already got muscle man in there you know he's in there Dale is not a veteran Dale is a veteran actually boy is also a veteran oh no oh my goodness and a huge suplex from Mark Sinclair we got some veterans oh my goodness we got some newcomers Take a look at this. Oh, no. Eli Porter could be in a world of hurt. Oh, my goodness, going over the top rope. Mark Sinclair wants Eli Porter outside. Now, it doesn't seem like I can get a read on a clear-cut fan favorite here, but Eli Porter surely is a favorite of mine, but you can't beat Mark Sinclair. Oh, my goodness. Eli Porter just absolutely drizzling the floor with Mark Sinclair. Uh-oh. Spilling out into the crowds almost. Look at this. Look at the forearms, the palms from Mr. Porter. We're going to need Mark Sinclair in the ring. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is disgusting. And Eli Porter now working away at the arms. The arms. No, no, no. Can't do this. Oh, my. Eli Porter wringing that neck. That's disgusting, Eli. We really can't be seeing you do that stuff. But he's gonna do it anyway because he's motherfucking... Uh, Eli Porter! No, please, no. No, please! Please, Eli, don't do this! Oh, and a massive axe handle. Oh. Eli Porter is just absolutely in charge right now. No. Oh, and a huge knee to the gut as Eli Porter. Uh-oh. It looked like it was in charge for Eli, but Mark Sinclair going to go back in the ring and get a little bit of rest. Very smart for Mark Sinclair. For a rookie in the ring, he's showing some veteran instincts, which he's going to need if he's going to qualify for money in the dank. We've got veterans like Boy, veterans like Dale. We've got newcomers like K. Wops and uh, Muscle Man. We're going to be getting a newcomer in the match as well. Mark Sinclair goes hard into the barricade from Eli Porter. 
Eli Porter feeling like Rosie O'Donnell at a bisexual bridal shower. Or sorry, he's got Mark Sinclair feeling like that. Jesus Christ. Oh no, and now he's pulling Eli out of the ring. Oh my goodness, like a predator. Like Freddy Krueger. Oh no, a Freddy Krueger. Oh, and Eli goes hard into the floor. For a guy like Eli Porter, that can't be good on his body. Oh no, a hard spill. And now Eli back with the fucking palms right to the face of Mark Sinclair from the hip multifacial. He just needs to beat him up like that gay guy from multifacial. And then he needs to realize that he's actually gay and it was his girlfriend's fault for looking at him. Oh no! Oh, what a phenomenal move from Elias Porter. Looking to prove that he should have won Iron Mike just like he should win this match here. Oh no, Mark Sinclair throwing wild haymakers. Sinclair with the wild haymakers beating down Eli Porter. Oh no. Starting to look gruesome right about now. Oh, and Eli in a world of trouble. Sinclair looking to punish him now. Going to the top. We don't ever see Mark Sinclair head to the top like this. We've never actually seen Mark Sinclair have a single match. So I wouldn't know if he heads to the top. Yeah, see, look. He doesn't head to the top. Oh my fuck! Mark Sinclair looking to heat up here. Oh. You gotta think this has gotta be devastating stuff for Eli Porter as he gets absolutely railed with a spine buster. Mark Sinclair got him lined up here. Oh no. Oh no, not one of these moves. Oh, huge knee right to the gut. The sternum of Eli Porter. Eli out at two. It's gonna take a little more than that, Mark Sinclair. And the Fight Forever chant starts to ring out for this two and a half star matchup as Eli fucking gets slammed. Is that gonna be enough to put away Eli Porter? Mark Sinclair, oh, you can tell Mark Sinclair is desperate for this. He really believes he's had it. He believes this is his match. Eli, oh no. And a huge power slam from Sinclair. Mark Sinclair not going for the pinfall this time. He wants to deal out some punishment. Dole out a little punishment on Eli, but wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Like a young fox. Eli is out. And that's the pin from Porter. Could Eli qualify for money in the tank? Sinclair. The bottom rope. Eli can't believe it. He's disgusted. Eli Porter almost had it. But Mark Sinclair was able to grip up the ropes. Oh no. And now Eli's looking to do some damage to Mark Sinclair. Back in on the cover now. Porter really wants it. Sinclair at at one now. He's got his bearings together. Eli almost fucking had it right there. Oh, and a huge thunderous knee to the cranium of Mark Sinclair. That's really gross. That's going to hurt your arm in the morning. Oh, and a huge elbow right to the chest. Eli Porter dropping the Iron Mike elbow. Oh, there's another one. And now he's... Oh, Eli wants to put it away, everyone. Ready? Here we go. Slamming the arm right back into the canvas. And now it's time for Eli to take charge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, knee right to the side of Sinclair. And now Eli Porter going to line him up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my goodness! That's surely gotta be it for Mark Sinclair. And he's somehow kicking out. Eli is furious. And the veteran instincts of Mark Sinclair continuing to show here in the ring. This matchup has gone from, oh my goodness! Oh! I should not be shouting, but I am because Eli Porter just fucking flew. Oh my goodness. Mark Sinclair able to roll out of harm's way. I don't know how he managed to get out of harm's way. Eli came in like a fucking like a like a 9-11 plane. Came in with a heavy fucking nosedive. And now Eli getting himself back in the ring here. He wants it in the ring. Mark Sinclair needs to get himself back in. 
Eli wants him. Uh oh, Sinclair catches him on the slack. Throwing him back in. Eli's back up in the ring. And Sinclair, oh, and a monster! Meat hook clothesline. Is that going to be enough to put away Porter? It looks like Mark Sinclair is headed to Money in the Dank. What a jumping meat hook. So devastating, there was nothing Porter could do about it. As Mark Sinclair punches his ticket for Money in the Dank. That is five spots filled. We have three more to go. One more matchup for sure is coming up later on tonight. But for now, Mark Sinclair joins the greats in the ring for Money in the Dank. Well, what a phenomenal match if we just saw everyone, and now we have some unfinished business. While Mark Sinclair was able to finish his business earlier on in the night against Eli Porter, unfortunately Nick A30 and Fortnite Jonesy were unable to do so last week. Was that a fucking Xbox sound I just heard? It probably was, but who gives a shit? Fortnite Jonesy and Nick A30 were unable to get the job done last week against their opponents tonight. Who, if you didn't know, is Class 1A Bakugo and Deku. The match ended in a double countout, so Fortnite Jonesy and Nick A30 are here tonight to do damage once again. There must be a winner. There will be no countouts, no disqualifications, no nothing like that. This is. We're coming into the nitty gritty, folks. We don't have much room for any more nonsense. And here comes Bakugo and Deku from Class 1A. The My Hero Academia anime. But more importantly, there's also My Hero Ultra Rumble. And we are loving My Hero Ultra Rumble. Big Joe has even come out of his League of Legends Valorant hut in order to play some of this. Which is absolutely pretty fucking revolting because Big Joe is a motherfucking beast. But you know what I mean? Anyways, Bakugo, Deku, got some work to take care of. Now, I'm not much of a betting man, but if I was a betting man, you gotta think Nick A. Thorny has to be waiting to get in on that championship match. The Fortnite OGs versus Class 1A. Starting to get the yawns here. We need to get this matchup underway, and here we go. Thought this would never get started. Entrances and shit. And now look at Deku working away at Richard A30. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Bakugo, for some reason, in on the pinfall. That's two. Holy shit, if the ref had just dropped, that match would have ended almost immediately as Bakugo just punished Fortnite Jonesy. And now look at Deku. Oh my fucking god, was that an angle slam? And now Jonesy's putting in some more. This match is really fucked up, actually. Fortnite Jonesy just got leveled. Deku. Why am I even looking at this matchup? I don't care about these guys. Except for, like, Nick A30. <laughs> it's kind of oh, Nick A30 with the Northern Light Suplex, of course, because he is from North America. He is from north of the border in Canada. <sighs> Jonesy with a huge boot right to the face of Deku. Now look at Fortnite Jonesy starting to heat up. Bakugo. Oh my goodness. Bakugo was set for the plunge from Fortnite Jonesy. Hit him with a little bit of a double pump and Deku unloading a Deku smash. And look at Jonesy. Oh fucking that's a monster knee right to the cranium of Bakugo everyone. Is that not disgusting or what? And oh my goodness Fort Jones. Flying right now and Nick A30 starting to work away at Deku. Oh my god, that's a monster leg right to the face of Midoriya. Midoriya and Bakugo with a huge slap right to the chest of Jonesy as fucking Deku runs right into the pillar. Knee right to the start of it. No, now he's ringing him out like a dirty old rag. 
Bakugo gonna look to punish Fortnite Jonesy and there's a monster boot I don't know what the fuck Nick A30 just did but he did something count of two Nick A30 trying to break that up and he's gonna get right in the ring to go right at Bakugo oh my goodness now's the time now's the time for the Fortnite OGs to take over if they actually want to come up big time you gotta take punishment you gotta work away with Deku right now he's being a bitch Yeah, Deku's just hiding on the outside. Can you get in the ring? Bakugo is getting fucked. Oh no. Oh my fucking god, and that's a monster knee right to the jaw. And for some reason, Bakugo is just able to get right back up. It's like anime, they get hit with like a move that would absolutely like obliterate a man, and they'll just fly back. And then they'll. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Nick 30 I was distracted by Fortnite Jonesy over there pulling out a fucking ladder for some reason. That Nick A30 just completely slipped my mind there. Now, oh, Midoriya. Uh oh, Fort Jones with the chair. Oh no, he dropped, he dropped it. Fuck. Nick A30 gonna throw fucking Bakugo right into nothing almost. Deku's got his chair out. He's sketching out, and there's a table in the ring now. I still can't get over Nick A30 with that flying maneuver out to the outside on Deku, and he pushed Bakugo out to the outside as well. Nick A30's been flames. Oh my goodness! Oh! Nick A30's starting to put in the fists. The craniums. Oh, and there's a knee right to the head of Bakugo. This might just be what Nick A30 needs. If Nick A30 wants to capitalize on Midoriya. Oh my goodness, and there's a thunderous spear to Izuku Midoriya. It's all over, Bakugo, so close. Bakugo was so close to saving it, but ladies and gentlemen, that thunderous spear was just quick enough. Fortnite, Jonesy, Nick A30, they're headed to Money in the Dank to challenge for the YouTube Tag Team Championships against the Tate Brothers. Who's going to come out on top? What a matchup that was. Honestly, I was kind of bored with that one. Fuck that garbage shit. I was getting ready to pass out a little bit there, but ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the heat stuff. Money in the bank qualifying matches are in place. And here he comes, Jake Suley from Avatar, making his D-Boss Wrestling Academy debut. Jake Suley, ladies and gentlemen, is in a cut. I've got my root beer here from McDix. And Jake Suley is firing me up with special moves. And you know he's got those all up in his repertoire. As Jake Suley looks to pop out a victory here on Brenda. Can't believe I just... <laughs> no, I'm sorry everyone. I just spoiled who his opponent's going to be before she came out. But here she is. It's Brenda, the former king and queen of the ring, the royal court of the DWA, the former Discord heavyweight champion. Uh, it's Brenda. Now, Brenda has had a tumultuous time here in the DWA. She has had a storied rivalry with Claudi Goon, Black McNeil. However, I don't know off the top of my head if Brenda has ever actually competed for the DWA World Championship. If she's able to beat Jake Suley, qualify for the Money in the Dank, and win, then by God she will get that match. And the odds are in her favor. Back in season one, it was her own son Dulamon, who won the money in the bank and cashed in in the main event of WrestleMania against Custom Grow and Dr. Disrespect. He completely Seth Rollins them. Oh my god! He pulled a Seth Rollins on him. And look at Brenda. Look at the size of Jake Suley compared to fucking Brenda. This is going to be an uphill battle from Brenda. She's headed to the top rope. No, she's not. Here comes a big Brenda moonsault. Right to Jake Suley. 
But at season two, a lot of people don't realize this, but season two, uh, the winner of the Money in the Bank, they actually never cashed in. Quadi Goon could never find a moment to cash in because we unfortunately went out of business during the Money in the Dank. There was never a proper opportunity for him to cash in. And then after the Ultimate Rumble, essentially, we kind of just fucking... Oh, and there's a monster spear. We kind of just ran out of money. We had the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. And then that's when Yelon Ma stepped in as Brenda with a nice pullback turnbuckle powerbomb. I don't know what the fuck that move was. She just, like, pulled him back. Brenda burying his face right into the top turnbuckle as she now stomps a mud hole in Jake Suley. So yeah, a lot of people don't remember that, but season two of the DWA, probably the most successful one thus far. Although I have a good feeling about season three. Um, yeah, it fucking uh, did not have a goddamn money in the bank cash in. Oh, and here comes Brenda with the clothesline. Yes, here we go, starting to heat up the former king and queen of the DWA. The Royal Court. Oh no. Oh no. Look at Brenda. Oh no, Jake Suli. Oh, what a high drop for Brenda. What a high drop for Brenda. As Jake Suli hits the floor. Now Brenda is in a world of trouble. Oh no. Jake Suli. Oh no, wait a minute here. Sorry, I was tripping out there. I was completely like in my own world. I thought Jake Sui was just Brenda for a second there. I don't know what the fuck I was seeing there. Oh my goodness, and there's a rolling senton from Brenda. I am commentator D-Boss, I assure you. I'm not alcoholic from the MEFC. Oh, I am not drinking here as Brenda pulls out the Brenda splash. Is that going to be enough? Jake Sui kicking out. We know how devastating the Brenda splash is. Her finishing maneuver. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a huge leg drop from Brenda. And now she's on the cover against Jake Sully, but a rope break is in order. Huge back flip. And now she's going to start working away at the limbs of Jake Sully. Brenda Joe knows. Oh no. And now she's calling for him to stand up. A little bit of a taunt for the crowd, and Brenda. Oh! Trying to do the Brenda cross body, but Jake Suley saw it. And now he's going to start punishing the sternum. Oh my goodness. Veteran instincts of Brenda to roll out. But look at the size of Jake Suley, the avatar from Pandara. This is Pandara. I remember that first movie. That first movie was good. Everyone is like, oh, we only remember it because of its graphics and its quality or whatever the fuck. For the, for the time it was in, it wasn't actually a good movie, but it's like, dude, it was kind of fucking good. I remember Avatar. And I certainly remember Jake Sully, and I'll always remember Jake Sully, especially if he wins this matchup right here. Because this is not any form of small competitor. Brenda might be small, but she's huge in heart. Oh my goodness! Not only just heart, but soul as well, and spirit. Lots of fighting spirit in Brenda. She's like the Rey Mysterio of the DWA. And now here we go. Oh my goodness, Jake Sully. That could be the end for a tall avatar like Jake Sully. Oh no. And here it comes. Oh my goodness. That's a form of Pandora powerbomb. And the height on Jake Sully, man, that is fucked up. Jake Suley is a Goliath as he now works away at the arms and limbs of Brenda. He's going to get a little bit of a flexion too. Jake Suley, you know he's over there. Bad crop. Bro, we're going to starve. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh no. And there's another Pandora powerbomb. Just laughing to myself about that meme I saw, the Jake Sully fucking uh, Instagram meme. Oh my goodness! A filthy powerbomb to Brenda. The Pandora powerbomb. And Jake Sully, oh my goodness! Not only myself, but Jake Sully also thought that that was it. 
I really thought that one was it, actually. Jade Foley had that one, the sit-up twisting Pandora powerbomb. But Brenda is still in it. Now Jake Sully running the ropes. So I say running the turnbuckles, my goodness. And now here it comes. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute, Brenda freeing herself. And here we go. Jawbreaker. This is where Brenda turns up now. Time to turn up the heat. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Monster spear and there it is. Whoa! Backflip somersault or whatever the fuck. Oh, and there it is. The pull away powerbomb from the turnbuckle. And now Brenda's back to work on the arms. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, could we be seeing it? Could she possibly be lining it up? There it is. The Brenda Splash. Is Brenda going to qualify for money in the tank? That's it. She's in. Ladies and gentlemen, the king and queen. The Royal Court of the DWA is back in the mix. Brenda has qualified for Money in the Dank. What a David and Goliath story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and it's time for your main event, and this is a bit of a surprise. It is another Money in the Bank qualifier match. This is going to be a triple threat match. I've kept it secret all night long because here he comes, or she, I, 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 I don't know. It's Rappin' Red. From the hit classic DVD, Crackhead Gone Wild, Volume 2, Rappin' Red, although she's in all the volumes. He's in all the ones. I don't know if Rappin' Red's a girl or a boy, but I think it's a girl. Rappin' Red from the streets of New York, from the streets of Brooklyn. Rappin' Red, the crackhead, is out here in the DWA. It's about time Rappin' Red pulled up. Probably the most famous character from the Crackhead Gone Wild series. Rappin' Red makes her long awaited debut. Now, this match will be for the Money in the Bank. We have two more spots to give up, one of which is right here. We will have our last show coming up later on down the week. And that will be the only time we will have that one match for that last spot. Now, who's coming out here to join Rapid Red? Wait. Oh my god. No, it's him. He's here. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you happen to be one of the lucky few to be receiving any Instagram reels of me lately from me, you've surely seen this man. The try your best not to change your profile pictures guy. The, uh, <laughs> now change this word with because. This guy is everywhere. He's always saying fuck shit. He's a, he's a great customer of Home Depot. I, <laughs> and uh, he's here. <laughs> he's here to finally fucking compete in the goddamn DWA. Oh my god. And now who is going to be their opponent? Here? Ladies and germaphobes. Who is going to be competing? Oh my. Oh lord. I mean, oh lord, have mercy, everyone. It's Guan Sheng. How dare Guan Sheng, the Uber driver, be making his fucking debut, finally, in the DWA. From Saskatchewan, the random Uber driver who pulled up and brought, um, fucking, like, Popeyes or whatever to goddamn Kroniak and his brother. Guan Shizzy is here. There's always gotta be that one character. Last season it was... <laughs> Matthew from CIBC. Of course we remember Matthew from CIBC. Naturally. He is a legend of the arena. However, Guan Sheng is his replacement. Of course, we're probably not going to be seeing Matthew from CIBC. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is a triple threat. 
The crackhead from Brooklyn. The fucked up guy from Instagram. The Uber gr driver from Saskatchewan. Let's go. Triple threat. The winner of this match in the main event, Guan Sheng going for the legs of little drop top. Golf cart. We all know golf cart. Apparently this guy leaked Adam 22's address or some shit. I was like, damn. I thought he just made funny try not to change your profile picture video. Oh my goodness. Wan Cheng with the high flying, the high cross body. The flying cross body and oh my goodness. Golf cart leveling him up. And look at Guan Cheng. Off the ropes into the elbow. A, a solid, no, no frills type of wrestler here. Hey, at least he bothered to show up with a fucking proper attire here. As you know, he's still in his 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 Uber profile picture shirt and shorts. Probably I don't know what he was wearing. He's probably wearing slacks, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess he was wearing shorts because I also wanted to put some of those on him, some shit like that. Um, what the fuck? Wait a minute, is this an Extreme Rules match? Is this a no disqualification match? Oh my god, Rappin' Red! Oh my god! Right to the cranium of Rappin' Red! Ow! And Lil Drop Top is just there flexing and not taking any damage. And now he's gonna punish Guan Sheng. For, uh, there must be something. Guan Sheng's either racist or hates drug dealers. Or drug addicts, sorry. Rappin' Red probably deals drugs. No way Rappin' Red deals drugs. She smokes them. Now Guan Sheng going right back for that chair. And I think Lil Drop Top's gonna get a nail right to the head. Oh my god. Guan Sheng unloading with the chair tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the main event. Look at Rappin' Red. Dear Christ. Huge neck breaker on the outside. These guys are some of the most fucked up people you are ever going to see competing in a DWA ring. Nice moves from Rappin' Red, though. Very calculated stuff. Uh-oh. Little drop top on the barricade. I'd love to see someone spear someone through the barricade. Guan Sheng getting a taunt in. Come on. What's he doing? Another taunt from Guan Sheng. An uh, oh my goodness. He's telling him. He's like, you didn't pay for your food. Oh no. And Rappin' Red. And now Rappin' Red is going to get a taunt in. What the fuck, Rappin' Red? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rappin' Red. Oh my God. That was a drop kick right to the face of golf cart. Wake your ass up, because it's time to go beast mode. Oh, and now Guan Sheng right into the chair. Guan Sheng with a running bulldog to Rappin' Red right onto the chair. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is disgusting. And Drop Top just taunting again. All he wants to do is taunt. Uh-oh. Looks like some movements being made. Oh. Drop Top didn't know what was going on there. Rappin' Red goes straight into the barricade. Drop Top right into the barricade. Guan Sheng starting to pop off right now. Oh, no. Rapping red. Oh! And here comes that chair again. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Rapping red out of the way there. And now a little drop top of that swinging neck breaker. Can someone get in the ring and do an actual move that's not like fucking a neck breaker or a chair shot? Oh, oh my god! Massive drop kick from little drop top. The drop top drop kick. That might have to be his fucking finisher or some shit like that. Look at Guan Sheng go. Look at Guan Sheng. No, you can't do the. Oh, oh, fuck! Did you see the head bounce off the fucking. The ring? Oh, no, now Guan Sheng wants it back in the ring, but rapping red. Crackhead red. <laughs> oh, red's right back in that fucking ring. Look at that. Oh, no, little drop top. You gotta be careful, though. Still in the Adidas tracksuit. Rapping red out of harm's way. No, I mean drop tops out of harm's way. Oh fuck! Guan Sheng blindsiding him. Just a drive-by blindside from Guan Shizzy. And one of these, one of these. Oh my goodness! Rapping red goes flying. And now he's back to drop top over here. Rapping red, just fucking is incapacitated. I think, I think Rapping Red's having a coke overdose or a crack overdose. Sorry, folks, folks too. Posh for rapping red. No, no, no. She's into crack. <laughs> Meh. Dope. Oh, wait a minute. Rapping red. Oh, my goodness. If only this was a false count anywhere match. She could have rolled him up and had him right there. Guan Chang. No, 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 no. 
Oh no, this is not good for Guan Sheng. Look at that. And Rappin Red starting to heat up. Oh my goodness, Rappin Red is heating up like the crack spoon that she's got. Like her heroin spoon, sorry. Crack. Oh my. Fucking Guan Sheng with the Randy Orton scoop slam. And, oh, hey, oh, you're gonna go. Oh my goodness, the announcers are in the way. The announcers are in the way, and fucking Guan Cheng doesn't give a fuck. Rapping red. Oh! Right into the crowd. This match is just. This is getting bad, everyone. Oh, Guan Cheng, huge knee right to the gut. This isn't even a match anymore. These guys are just fucking beating each other ass. Oh no, I think Drop Top wants in on that. Wait a minute, meeting of the minds from Rapping Red. Guan Sheng into the timekeeper area over there. Rapping Red throwing Guan Sheng away. And now Drop Top throwing Rapping Red away. Fuck, did you see Guan Shizzy? Oh no, this is gonna be bad for Drop Top. Do you guys not wanna get in the ring with the ref? Get the, the win? You're not actually here to just beat the fuck out of each other. You're here to qualify for money in the dank. This is spot. Oh no. Oh my goodness. And little drop top back to the flex again. Rappin' Red just got her neck broken. She could potentially be out for weeks. Months even. Remember in season two. Uncle Roy punished Captain America in the Money in the Bank match so badly that he got injured for pretty much like the entire season. And yes, he did make a return in some Battle Royales, but it just wasn't the same. And he got his contract terminated back in Season 2, I think. I could be wrong. But he's definitely not in Season 3. Oh no, and Rappin' Red! This could be the moment Rappin' Red needs! Oh no! Oh, Crackhead Red! That's her finisher! Oh, but little drop top with a fucking kendo stick. Hold on a minute. Guan Cheng. Oh my god! Little drop top with the kendo. Oh, wait a minute. Rapping red out of hard way! Rapping red is fucking furious. He's having a crack rage now. And oh my fucking god. And threatening the ref now. Didn't even try to go for the little drop top. He just wanted to do that to Rapping Red. Little drop top in for the cover. This could be the qualify. Rapping Red. Guan Shang out at two. You're not about to get rid of Guan Shang like that, who's been, uh, I think, objectively dealing out the most punishment tonight. Rapping Red somehow still alive here. Wait a minute. What's got? What's gotten into Rapping Red? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at that stunner. Golf cart not having any of that. Did you see the moves from Rappin' Red? Crackhead Red. Will drop top in on the cover trying to steal one. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Rappin' Red. I thought Rappin' Red had it done. Look. Lil Drop Top thought he had it too. I thought it was it for Rappin' Red. Guan Sheng back up. Fucking hell. Oh my goodness. A monster super kick from Guan Sheng. It's over. Oh my god. Oh, Out of nowhere super kick to qualify for money in the dank. Ladies and gentlemen, possibly one of the greatest matches in DWA history took place as Guan Sheng punches his ticket to money in the dank.